Okay, so we talked about the SNS console and what to expect. Uh, now let's go through each of these guys one by one. And first, like we don't, we're not gonna have much here in terms of dashboard because we don't have anything set up. Uh, when you kind of set up your SNS topics and your subscriptions, all this stuff will change. Uh, but if you're just starting out, this isn't very useful. It just kind of gives you a summary of what you have with respect to SNS on this account. Now topics is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time. So I wanna kind of spend a good amount of time explaining what's going on here. Um, so by default, we, we have nothing here, right? So we, we don't have any topics that are associated with this account, but I'm gonna actually walk you through how to create a topic now and some of the important considerations that you need to take when you're setting up your topic. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create topic here. If you already have topics, you may not see this button. So you need to click on create topic in the top right. I'll just click on that one. Uh, and so what are we seeing here? So we need a name of our topic. And so we, we can see that we have a maximum number of characters. Uh, it can include dashes and underscores. So let's say our topic, I think in my demo example, I called this the customer, customer order topic. Uh, and this is where we're gonna send messages. Whenever a customer kind of calls our backend service, that message is gonna be sent to this topic with some attributes about that order. Maybe if it was uh, purchased in person or it was done digitally on the online website. Uh, so this is optional here in terms of display name. So if you want a more uh, kind of friendly name, I think this is pretty revealing of what it means. But if you need to give it an alias of some kind, uh, then you, know, you can go ahead and give it that alias here. So the next thing that we need to worry about here is encryption. So if we just read what's in front of us here, so Amazon SNS provides in-transit encryption by default. Enabling server-side encryption adds at-rest encryption to your topic. So I kind of want to dig into this a little bit more uh, because in transit means that when you publish message, when it's transmitting over the wire, it's encrypted. So you're using an HTTPS endpoint. So that is going to be encrypted for you. So when you're interacting with SNS, you're using HTTPS. So automatically that data is gonna be encrypted over the wire. Now, when SNS receives your message, it does need to do something with it. It needs to kind of hold it in a place so that it can publish that message potentially at a later point in time. Usually this happens very, very quickly, but there can be a very small amount of time where this message is sitting in an unencrypted format on the SNS services. Now, if your message content is very highly sensitive, maybe it contains something like, I don't know, social security numbers or uh, potentially revealing information about your customers, you always want to have the highest standards of encryption so that there's no potential leakage for this information that can get into anyone's hands. So encryption is a very, very useful concept if you're working with AWS to just add another layer of guaranteed privacy for the data that you are handling. A lot of agencies require encryption both over the wire and at rest. And you can see here that this is a feature that SNS offers. So if you want to enable encryption, all you have to do is tick this box here. And there's, and there's a key that you need to set up. Uh, so a customer master key. So you can kind of create your own here or just use the default. Uh, so we can see here the default master key that protects my SNS data when no other key is defined. Uh, so you can go ahead and create your own using the key master service. That's what KMS stands for. But if you just use the default, this is gonna work pretty well. Uh, for you more advanced users, you'll probably know what I'm talking about when I say go and create your own key. Uh, but for probably 99% of you, the default is probably gonna be fine. Uh, so that about wraps it up for encryption. Let's move on to the access policy now.